Hi everyone, it's Agnes. I thought I'd read another success story today. It's from Jazz and it goes like this. First and foremost, I would like to thank you for being my guiding light. When I was lost and turned blind to possibilities, your guidance through your channel wasn't less than a magical wish fulfilling lamp for me. I was introduced to your channel by my brother Shiva7. I will put Shiva7's interview down in the description for those of you that haven't seen it. It's a fabulous interview. Who also happens to share his success story with you prior. I so much want to share mine as well. So in advance, back in October 2017, I scripted a manifesting story in present tense, addressing you, assuming I have already manifested those qualities and now was sharing it with you. Scripting it down gave me a sense of relief. The load of anxiety was diffused. Somehow I lost that paper, which I recently found back. For everyone who is listening to this story, I want to give you a backdrop about myself so that you know that if you are aware of LOA or just getting introduced to it in both cases, feelings matter most. Taking you into a flashback a little when I was not aware, indeed I had not heard of the law of attraction, I had just joined my physiotherapy school and I wanted to buy myself a phone. Since I am from India, we are accountable of each decision we make to our parents. We need to take their consent approval before we implement most not have enough courage to ask for a mobile phone. I had this secret wish of having it. One day I went to buy a greeting card for a friend's birthday and I saw a beautiful phone accessory on the display in the Archie's gallery. I could not stop myself but bought it immediately. Every night before sleeping I would kiss it and would tell it, I am so glad you are being hung on my new phone. This made me feel so good. And that was the reason I continued doing this exercise for about seven nights in a row. Let me just switch off the phone so it doesn't beep and annoy us. Later, I was distracted by the college assignment for the following week. To my surprise, my dad asked me to accompany him so that I could help him with the grocery shopping. After buying the home supplies, he stopped the car in front of a mobile showroom. After buying the home supplies, he asked me to select the one I wanted. He bought it for me right away. I was so happy to receive it. I immediately looked up for that accessory from my drawer. And I reached again. I am so glad that you are now hanging on my new mobile phone. I have had manifest quite a few small things by this placebo belief, by putting faith in an object and attracting the other one following its possession. Till one day I met a friend who shared the link of the secret. I was jaw dropped throughout the movie. This particular segment hooked me where the guy talks about buying a new car. By the time I was done with my college and I was doing a job in a school as science and health educator, I used to drive my way in an Alto car. This time I manifested possession of a car I wanted and a new car for my dad by using the power of my imagination as if I am already sitting and driving the desired car. Each day I was driving to and from my school. I was happy with station successes, but work environment was not good. And this was the time when my brother told me about your channel. I saw a couple of videos. I did understand many of the concepts, but I was not applying them because I was so much in a bad state of mind. That negativity had hollowed my motivation. Also, a very good friend decided to disconnect with me because he thought I was so hopeless that I'm not worthy enough to be in connection with anymore. This broke me even further. If you have a friend with who ghosts you out, you are bound to feel fragmented because you were codependent on them. My several attempts to mend the ties brought me to a verge where I was blocked from Facebook and he changed his number and did not even share it with me. So as suggested in one of your videos, I made a list of the things I actually wanted immediately. Following was the list I scripted in October mid-2017. I need a vacation to the hills as my work is so exhausting. Two, I need a friend who would understand my dreams and aspirations with whom I can share my projections for my manifestations. As I did not have anyone who could understand my perspectives. 
This wish was inspired by one of your videos where you mentioned you and your friend help each other in the process of manifesting. Three, I need to build back the contact with the friend who changed his number. I had no mode of contact currently as his previous number was discontinued and I was indeed blocked from social media. Four, I need a long vacation from work. Five, I need a new job. Six, I need to do what I like, creative stuff. Need to start my YouTube. I kept staring at the list for the whole night, imagining how, how would I feel it. When I will share this with you, we will be on video chat. Many people will feel inspired by our communication. We will deliver such value points to everyone through that video and kept it safe in my lock. Watching some regional Punjabi funny movies, listening to some good music, joined swimming to make myself calm. I have no idea how it will work. I had this conviction it will work out soon. I did, start, did not start any meditations yet. I would now search for random hills stations on Google would see myself walking in the meadows crossing the valley on a rope this idea was picking picked by your video where you mentioned about visiting your birthplace and visiting Canada a week later I was informed that the school is organizing a trip to the hills I was given the responsibility to inform explain about the trip and collect the entries by the students who were interested I was one of the most involved loved and favorite faculty by the students so many of those students who liked me enrolled. And because they wanted me to come with them as faculty coordinator, despite the principal not wanting me to go, due to the student's demand, I was sent to the trip with manager's orders. This was a three or four night, three night, four days, all expenses paid trip for me. I had to pack my bags and wanted to buy some stuff for my trip, but I did not have enough money. But for the next two days, I told myself everything will be sorted. I lived in the end result. I again scripted. The things I had to buy, I assumed I already had them. To my surprise, the very next morning, my father gave me my pocket money along with some money which was supposed to be part of my birthday gift and was still pending. So now I had enough money to buy my things. This was the day when we had to leave for the trip. I came back from work, quickly bought the things I wanted and while returning back, my left foot got stuck in a pothole. It got twisted, swollen and I had a lot of pain. Now I was not sure if I should go. I asked my mom what I should be doing. She was aware that this trip is my manifestation. She told me it's up to you to enjoy or to regret. She did not give me a yes or a no. I went ahead. By chance, a student who really cares for me asked me about the injury and he too had had a bike accident the same evening, so he had brought some strong painkiller from the pharmacy and he offered me the medicine. As I was in pain, he, I did not give any thought I just had it, which made me drowsy, and I slept. So the morning when we reached the beautiful hill station, nestled in the Himalayas, the swelling was reduced and I could walk without showing it on my face that I was hurt. Thanks to that student for helping me out. Few more students got to know about my injury as I was their favourite. They helped me pick and transported my, they helped me picking and transporting my luggage. The trip was amazing. We made memories which will always remain safe in my heart. During the last day of the trip, I got a call from a school which asked me to visit them later this week for an interview. I was so happy to receive it as it is one of the most prestigious schools in India. I am also excited as my manifesting list started to unfold. The trip I demanded was granted and offered for the new job came earlier than I had even imagined. Just three days after the trip, my ankle had started hurting a lot again and swelling so much that my shoe wouldn't fit and it seemed like a baby elephant's foot. My mum was worried. Indeed, I cried for two nights in pain. Still, I resumed my job and I went for the first round of interviews on the scheduled date and it was written test and they told me that they shall inform me if I cleared it. It was almost a week. The environment at my workplace was so depressing. I would indulge in a lot of junk food to feel better. The ankle pain was taking a toll on my concentration at work. I had to get an x-ray done and it was an ankle fracture. The doctor was surprised to know that with this ankle I went trekking and valley crossing. He said, you are a strong girl. Never seen a girl like that before who would climb hills with a broken ankle. I was sad that once we will plaster it, I'd have to be in bed for seven to nine weeks. I had made a mental plan to start my YouTube. I did not want to be handicapped. They say, beware of what you ask for. You never know. You may get it in the most surprising form. Oh. 
I manifested my desire of getting a long break from my job. The plaster forced me for a long break. I manifested my wish, but it made me more anxious and frustrated as I would have have more as I would have more alone time. I missed my friend with whom I had lost contact and also now I was not meaningfully engaged. So I would question my position in life. I would crib on all the decisions which I took because I was influenced by surroundings and I was not able to take a stand for my creative work as I wanted to make a YouTube since two years. All in all, I almost went into depression, which no one but I could have felt. During the phase, I got a call from the interview place telling me that I have been shortlisted. I needed to come in for a demo. With the plastered ankle, I went there for five days in a row and I had to stand with the plaster cast for long durations. As I trusted my potential, I was selected for the management interview round as well. I did impress the panel members that they called me for salary discussions. The salary offered was very less. It was less than I was already making. This had put my mood off and I decided to apply on several other places. I again listed things for why I am not feeling happy. I came to the realization that I'm not loving myself enough and not feeling myself to be deserving enough. Also, there is a lot of negative self-talk in my head, which is making me further feeling bad. My mind would chatter all day through. I am not efficient enough to bag a job at such a prestigious school because I hardly have a few months of experience. School management hires a candidate on a good salary when they have handsome years of experience. In context of my friend, I kept telling myself the people I value most leave me deserted. Nobody understands me. People talk only for a purpose. They talk to me for their work and not because they want to be personally associated with me. While writing this, I cried because I was it was painful to write it. It seemed on a planet of billions, I was alone by myself. In many of your videos, you suggest whenever we're stuck, we must rewind the clock and check what has been going on inside our mind and start affirming about the positive changes. In present tense, I did exactly that. I started self-love meditations. I would watch stuff which puts me on a high vibe. I would close doors, dance, have fun, tell myself no matter where he wanders, I am the best friend he always cherishes. Also, I made a list of things what I wanted to have in my new job. By this time, th through an LOA Facebook group, I met a girl who also has similar beliefs about her. Not deserving enough, not good enough, second best, etc. As they say, your vibe attracts your tribe. My wish from the October wish list was fulfilled. Now I had a friend with whom I could discuss the mechanisms of what went wrong. How to fix it. We would do that for each other every time we felt not good enough or not deserving enough because she lived in a different country which had similar traditions. We understood each other's life even better. From Facebook we hopped on WhatsApp each day on a fixed time. We would meditate for self-love followed by living in the end to manifest a new job on a music piece which we both loved. Universe knew we are Supergirls who loved themselves better, trusted themselves better and had no choice to honour our good, high, lovable vibes. Now, I got several interview calls, many at a time. I attended two to three interviews in a single day. Finally, I got the job. The job had all the traits, as I mentioned, in my gra grateful script, except one part. So, getting 12 out of 13 was not bad at all. Score from my wish list at this time from my October list. One more wish was manifested of, unlo of locking in a desired job. I was soaring high in happiness each night before sleeping. I would tell myself of all the things I'm grateful, which included my supportive brother, your YouTube channel, my overseas best friend, the new workplace. I had some leftover pain post ankle fracture recovery and the swelling was not evading completely. So I would play music, music, plug in the headphones and imagine myself dancing effortlessly on stage where I am enjoying. Everybody is happy around me and there is no pain. I imagine that I'm fixing my broken fragments of bone with Fevicol. I know it's funny, but the fun factor lets you surrender your doubts. One Sunday, I was lazing out of my bed and I was watching Bollywood movie on Hotstar app. While watching movie, the movie, I got a notification of WhatsApp message. It was him, the best buddy who had blocked me long back and were whose new number I didn't have. It was one word text which said, sorry. I had just clicked it just clicked me that I was watching the same movie which he had mentioned long back and I must watch it. I can't explain how I felt at that point, but I resumed the movie, finished watching it, did my meditations and responded to him when I had time the next day. The final wish from October list was granted 
Those of you who are having a hard time manifesting your specific person, let me acknowledge I have done it all. Stalking on social media, cribbing, over-contacting, crying, everything. When I tried the whispering technique, honestly, I was having such a bad state of mind that the whispering or radiating love wouldn't have worked. So while I was on my job hunt, once in a while, whenever I would recall any of that stuff, I would do a meditation for forgiveness. I would do a spotlight meditation also. I did a lot of Ho'oponopono prayers, but you know it's inside by yourself that I needed not to do these anymore. Still, if your nerves are not relaxed, practice gratitude and surrender. I would imagine a cord connecting me to him. I would then cut the cord and I would smile and tell him I set you free. I surrender my neediness. Thank you. I was Thankfully, I was on a job hunt scripting for the YouTube I wanted to start and we were shifting into a new apartment as well. All of these played a good role in distracting me from that state of neediness. Now we are better friends as I remember that I am blocked. It still brings tears to my eyes. Now I am working upon making myself emotionally secure, strong and self-dependent. I steal time from my job to film my YouTube videos, edit them with love and to dedicate love and tribute to Aunt and yes, I have started a self-love Saturday with jazz series on my channel where I talk about ways and means to motivate people and raise our vibes. Rest of days I upload creative makeup and all the stuff I enjoy doing. As the channel will grow in the future with blessings of the universe, I will take up the creative work full time. I am sure my wish will be granted sooner than... Uh, than I can even imagine. Me and my brother and my friend from overseas, we are all very grateful to you. We have been, you have been like a magnetic compass which showed us direction when the waters are settled, where the waters are settled and sailing is smoother. Now I understand that crying, instead of crying, I need to understand what I think inside of my mind and how changing that mental chatter will change what goes outside of me. This understanding did not come easy to me, but I now value it that I will not lose it. As the casual imaginations that I'm dancing on stage, my ankle is perfect, has come true. We are having summer camp in the school where I'm employed currently, and each morning I take up Zumba class. I get on stage and everyone follows my moves, starting from pre-primary kids to teens to the faculty. They compliment me that they love how effortlessly I enjoy while doing and instructing Zumba. This Zumba has made me popular and lovable already amongst all within two months of me joining. This is exactly what I had envisaged. Also, people across India are you huge fans. Recently, I discovered a group on Facebook, specific person, all is possible. There, everyone talks about your videos and your meditations. Ah, oh, wow. So, beautiful. Thank you, Jazz, for sending that. And that's really interesting that Shiva Seven's your brother too. There's two of you. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for, uh, yeah, just the ups and downs of it. It's never not always perfect, is it? So thank you very much. And that's all I got to say. Yes. <laughs>